Good evening and welcome back to 8 Miller Beer Review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Tiny Rebel Beer. This is Easy Living Pale, a Session Pale at 4.3%. It says that all right there. Um, this is one that I got off their website um, after I did the calendar. They gave me a 20% card which came with the calendar and I thought I'd get a few in. Um, and this is one of them. Uh, there's no guff on the back really. It is a vegan beer. When I say there's no guff it just says it's brewed in Tiny Rebel. Blah de blah de blah, where they're from. Yeah, this it just says easy live and take a load off. Welcome to our world. Um kind of quite nice though. It's got little tiny rebel teddies as hot air balloons. Um and I quite like the, the can art colour, uh just the pink going into a pink yellow gradient. It's quite nice. Um anyway, let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? Well, may as well use the tiny rebel glass as well. So, we have got a nice pale beer, um, white head, compact bubbles, no floaters, um, there's a lot of carb stuck around, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it looks quite nice, let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Big hits of mango. Nice citrusy smell as well, like a grapefruit and oranges. That's quite nice though. It's a mouthful for body and carb. Ooh. That body's light, carb is light, but what you get is sharp. I'm just making sure it was a second. It is. Um, let's get a big old taste. Cheers. This flavour, it's not too strong. But there's still a nice amount of flavour. You get your mangoes. You get nice citrusy hits, um, grapefruit, oranges, bit of lemon, bit of lime. It's got this sort of smoothie way about it. Um, not in consistency, but just like when you drink the flavours of a smoothie, the, the fruitiness of a smoothie. Oh, that's quite nice though. I should put that. But that's actually quite nice. Um, it's not really much to this review. Um, it is just a small beer. There's not an over the top with the way they've made it. No special hops. No nothing like that. Just a classic session pale. Um, I think with that I'm going to go away and enjoy it. Because it's quite nice. Um, yeah. So. Tiny Rebels Easy Living Pale. Um, session Pale Ale. Or just sorry. A session Pale. Um, out of 10. Uh, I'm going to give that an 8. That would be good for middle of summer, when it's red hot. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Um, when it's red hot, go to barbecue, bit of uh, friends and family around. That's a good one to have. Um, probably another good one to get someone who's starting off on craft. Um, so, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't. If you've not have it, had it, I'll leave a link pardon me, to Tiny Rebels website down below. That's where I got mine for £2 something, and then the 20% on top, so it was more like £1.80, something like that, um, £1.90, so it's quite cheap for a session. Um, I do wish they were in a 440 can, I think that would be a lot nicer, but beggars can't be choosers. So, um, yeah, Tiny Rebels website will be down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later.